Hi friends, welcome to the Happiest Most Magical channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lynn and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we are done sharing all of our Walt Disney World vlogs from our January trip. Oh, it was such an amazing vacation and I can't wait to do it all over again. Um, but anyways, we are here today because I am going to do a Disney haul. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while and I have <laughs> this beautiful pile right next to me that I can't wait to dig into and share with you guys. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is this Mickey scrunchie. It is so cute. Look at this hair tie, it's plush um, and it's big. So I am actually wearing the Minnie Mouse version right now in my hair. Uh, the Minnie Mouse version has a little bow um, and then polka dots. So this bottom part here has polka dots on it. I actually got this over at World of Disney back in January when Sean and I were there on our epic vacation. Speaking of which, if you haven't seen any of those vlogs yet from our January trip, I am going to link the playlist down below. There are 17 videos in that playlist alone. So if you're craving for Disney content, that is the playlist for you. All right, so back on this scrunchie here, like I said, it's plush and it's um, a bit oversized and it's very comfortable to wear. So these actually came in a set and I can't remember the price off of the top of my head, but I wanna say it was probably like 14 or $15 for the two of them. So seven bucks each, pretty great deal. All right, next up are these beautiful trinket trays. So I ordered these on Shop Disney. When I saw them online, I knew I had to have them. And I actually don't use these as trinket trays. I have them stand on their own because the um, sides here are about an inch thick so they can stand sturdy enough to be straight up like this. And um, yeah, so we've got Sleeping Beauty Castle and then of course we've got Cinderella Castle here. I had to have both of them. I even have the matching sponges, which are over by the kitchen that I'll share with you um, in a little bit. But yeah, here are the trinket trays. There's no price sticker on them. Uh, but if I still see them on the Shop Disney website, I will definitely link them down below. I actually have these styled on my shelf and I will post a picture right here. That way you can see what it looks like in my master bedroom. Next up is this Mickey and the Gang crew neck sweater. I love it so much. I ordered this on Shop Disney. I actually saw it in person at the World of Disney store over at Walt Disney World, um, and I regretted not buying it. So I was really happy that I was able to find it online. The colors just pop. It reminds me of the 90s because, you know, your girl's the 90s kid. And yeah, I actually ordered this in 2XL. This doesn't, I read the reviews on it. Um, it's not really stretchy. Yeah, so it doesn't really have much stretch to it. And since it's mostly made out of cotton, I wanted to make sure that if it shrank a little, that it would still fit me the way that I wanted it to. So here is the back and here is the front. Next up are these really beautiful stickers. So let me get a close up of them. I ordered this from Triton's Treasures. So here is, of course, the Cinderella Castle. And then here is the Sleeping Beauty Castle. So Triton's Treasures is a small shop out of England and I love their stuff. These stickers are not the only things that I got from them. So let me share with you what else I got from them. I found them through Holly Madison. So I follow Holly Madison on Instagram and she was wearing a sweater and I was like, oh my God, I need that sweater. So I looked up the shop and they had so many cute merchandise and I narrowed down my choices to two sweaters. So here is the first one, the most magical place on earth. So I ordered this in 2XL because this is 80% cotton and again if it shrank a little bit after I wash it, I wanted it to still fit the way I wanted it to. So let me do a close up so you can see the detail of the patchwork, it's so gorgeous. 
So you know your girl had to get the Sleeping Beauty version as well. Sean and I are actually going to California next month, so I really, really, really hope and pray that Disneyland will be open to non-residents soon. That way we can go and enjoy the magic again. Okay, so next up are some hats from Love Your Melon. Here is the logo. And I really love this uh, navy one with the two white pom-poms on the top, super cute. My sister actually gave this to me um, a few months ago and I love it so much. She also got me this red Mickey Mouse one. And the red Mickey Mouse one actually has um, official Mickey Mouse Club badge on it instead of the Love Your Melon. Here is my favorite picture of Walt Disney, Lillian Disney, and Mickey Mouse. So this is a picture of them back in the 30s on a cruise ship, and you guys know how much I love cruising. I love Disney cruises so much, um, and I can't wait for them to start sailing again. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, back in January 2017, we sailed on the Disney Magic for the first time. We had this picture hanging in our stateroom, and I remember that I took a picture of it because I wanted to try to find a copy of it once we got back to land and when we had internet data. Um, anyways, got back on the land, tried finding this picture, couldn't find a copy that I could purchase. Fast forward to a couple of months ago, and I look on eBay and I find this print and I geeked out so hard. I was so happy that I was able to find it on eBay. And on the back here, it looks like this was a free gift for people that would go to the um, Disney Vacation Club previews. All right, so I go crazy. I go absolutely bananas for Tropical Mickey and Minnie. I love Tropical Mickey and Minnie so much. And this first item that I'm gonna share with you guys is this beautiful print. And I forgot where I purchased this from. It was from a small shop. So one of my favorite accounts on Instagram is the Cottage Mouse. And Roxy shared this in her stories. And I'll have to reach out to her because I went through my emails trying to find where I bought it from and I can't find it. Here is this Hawaiian holiday print. I love it. We've got Minnie Mouse over here in a hula skirt. And then we've also got Mickey playing an ukulele. It's just so adorable and I can't wait to go back to Hawaii. I miss it so much over there. All right, so now that you know about my obsession with Tropical Mickey and Minnie, I hope you're so proud of me for practicing some major self-control on Shop Disney's website. They have the most amazing summer collection of Tropical Mickey and Minnie, and they've released everything from like couch pillows to dining sets to clothing, and oh my God, I wanted to buy everything, but I did good. <laughs> I did really good. I didn't buy everything, but I did pick up a couple of things that I'm going to share with you now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna share with you from the collection that I bought is this picnic blanket, and it's 70 inches by 80 inches, or 177 centimeters by 203 centimeters. And here is what the flap looks like, and it's Velcro, and... Yeah, so it opens up, you unfold it, and it makes an amazing picnic blanket, and I cannot wait to go on picnics with this beautiful blanket. And here is an up-close look of the prints on here. I just love this so much. I low-key wanna buy another one. <laughs> that way I can save this and um, keep it as a backup, just in case I mess up the other one by using it on too many adventures. And as far as the material goes, the back side, so the part that you actually put on the ground is like this black vinyl -y texture. It doesn't feel super thick, um, but it's really cute. It promises that it is um, waterproof, so we'll see how it actually holds up when we use it outside. Something else that I really like about this picnic blanket is that this strap here is adjustable. That way you can hold it as a handle like this, or you can loosen this and wear it over your shoulder. 
Next up are the ears. Oh my gosh, I love them so, so much. I love that we have got, we've got some hibiscus flowers on here as well as plumerias. And then we've got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, of course. And they even have two different flowers on the back. Super adorable. Major Hawaii vibes, and I cannot wait to wear these hopefully next year at Alani and on the Disney cruise that goes from um, Hawaii to Vancouver. So the third thing that I got from the Tropical Mickey and Minnie Summer Collection on Shop Disney is the lounge fly bag. And let me show it to you. I haven't even taken it out of its protective covering yet because I love this so much and I don't wanna get it dirty. Um, but just for you guys, I'm gonna take it out now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, the top has like this bamboo, faux bamboo handle to hold it like this. Absolutely adorable. And I was really nervous about the print because, you know, I wanted to make sure that I had a good print. And I really like this. I just wish that Minnie Mouse was featured more prominently as well. So like, for instance, we've got full body Mickey here. I really wish we had like a full body Minnie Mouse over here or like up here or something. Um, but regardless, I still love it. And the material is kind of like a fabric material. So I'm nervous to get it dirty, but hopefully like a, one of those Tide pens can help clean it up if it does get dirty. And I love the uh, faux detail here of bamboo. Major, major tropical vibes. We've got two side pockets. And then of course a zippered front here. And let's see what the lining looks like inside. Oh, cute. So we've got some stripes and some palm trees and Mickey heads. And the retail price of this is $75. And then on the bottom, more of that gorgeous, gorgeous print. My sister brought home all of the Disney Princess Happy Meal toys from McDonald's, so let me share those with you now. Here we've got Snow White. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna share with you guys is this art piece that I ordered from Shop Disney. It's a beautiful print by the artist Noah. Noah is actually one of my favorite Disney artists. Um, but anyways, a little bit of a story time. So back in March, I posted to my Instagram stories about how I wanted this print and how it was from one of my favorite Disney artists and mostly because it reminded me of me, Sean, and Lucy. And anyways, posted the story and like an hour later I randomly get a Venmo and I'm like that's weird I'm not expecting money from anybody and the caption said home is where life makes up its mind and I immediately started crying so my best friend sent me money that way I could purchase this print and I bawled it was like one of the most sweetest gestures anyone has ever done for me and i love you so much vicky thank you thank you thank you a million thank yous from the bottom of my heart i love you and so now i have the art print and let me share it with you because i already have it um posted up by the coffee bar all right so before i show you the coffee bar lucy wanted to say hi that was her crying in the background <laughs> Um, if you haven't met her yet, this is our sweet Basset Hound. She turns 11 in July. All right, so here is our coffee bar, and this is where the print is. Isn't it the perfect home for it? I couldn't think of a better spot. Also, I wanted to show the sponges really quick. I just have them sitting on the ledge. I don't plan on ever using them. <laughs> they're just decorations for the kitchen. I think they're so cute. All right, you guys, and just like that, we are at the end of my Disney haul. I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
And if you are not subscribed to me already, I invite you to do so now. All right, you guys, I hope you have a beautiful weekend and I'll see you guys again real soon. 